Hello and welcome to the West Coast of Canada. I'm Cranky Old Dude, your host. I stream live seven days a week, 10 to 16 hours, every single day live on Twitch. We also upload our videos occasionally to YouTube, specifically tutorial series like this one, Oxygen Not Included. We are on episode number nine today. Yes, number nine. And uh, if you're curious at all about our channel on Twitch, don't hesitate if you're watching this later on YouTube to go into the video details and you will find a link to our Twitch channel. And I bid you welcome and we are on cycle 59 on a vanilla non-DLC game. There is no mods and um, we are on a slush Terra world. Uh, we are having some fun. Yeah, we are. Let, let's take a look where we left off here and what we were doing last time. So we're going to zoom out a little bit. To do this, if you're playing at home, you would hit Alt-S on your keyboard and then use your mouse wheel to zoom in or out. And then hit Alt-S to go back to your regular view. In essence, what that's doing is allowing you to go into screenshot mode. So screenshot mode would take care of all the elements off your screen except for the screenshot you want of your colony. Now, again, if you guys have any problems at all with your personal Oxygen Not Included campaign and, and you'd like to ask Cranky some questions, don't hesitate to pop on over to my Twitch channel. Uh, regardless of the game I happen to be streaming, I will give you uh, some answers. I'll do the best I can to help you. At the very worst, I'm going to say please pop over to our Discord and post a screenshot with your problem and see what the community can do to help you. There are hundreds of people in that Discord willing to give you a hand. Okay, so let's take a look here. What were we doing? It looks like we had almost completed completely our insulated tile around our base. We had started on the next uh, farming setup here, which is going to be for bristleberries. After that, we're going to be doing some ranching in these sections here and here. Um, those are going to be probably for hatches. Uh, which are these little buggers right here. Uh, we're going to raise them for meat, but also so that they supply us with coal. Um, their excrement is coal. So um, that's going to give us a big benefit. Now, last time we were playing, we also moved a lot of our heat sources outside of our base. We moved our grill outside of our base. We moved a sieve outside of the base that was active most of the time. This sieve, sieve is active very infrequently. So the amount of heat that it's generating is very, very minimal. Um, at some point, yes, I am going to want to move it outside my base. Uh, we're not quite there yet. We'll, we'll get there, but just not quite there yet. Uh, once again, in the tutorial series, I do recommend that everybody plays it on slow speed. Uh, this will save you from running into problems and having them cascade into bigger problems. Uh, you'll be able to catch issues as they happen before they become worse of a problem and possibly cost you your whole colony, or at least members of your colony. Uh, to date, we have had zero deaths. We are at cycle 59. Our morale is rather decent. Uh, we are in the 20s. On the morale and we are feeding them absolute garbage for food um, it depends on what they what they're doing and where they are in their in their day if they are already through most of their day some of their morales might be a little bit lower doing to due to whatever they encounter and deal with throughout their daily uh, pathing and uh, errand list okay so let's give it a go and see what we're doing here okay so we have some people with some skill points so let's take a look at those skill points first uh, Beardless, let's look at you. What have you got? Um, you are completed on the ranching side of things. Nice. So we're going to put you a point into caring so you can supply better. Uh, Mario, what are you doing? It's a Mario. Um, yeah, let's give you Exosuit. Sure, I'm okay with that. Um, rating, you're on your way to being Exosuit. You're not quite there. But you're getting there. That's good. That's good. And as you can see, our positive morale is much higher than our negative morale. And that's how you want to stay. All right. Let's 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 get them moving and doing stuff. It's kind of like watching an ant nest in some respects. I mean, they're busy little worker bees. 
Now, the company that produces this game is called Clay Entertainment, based off of the west coast of Canada, kind of like where Cranky is. Uh, they are based in Vancouver. They do an amazing job with Don't Starve, Don't Starve Together, um, as well as Oxygen Not Included and other titles. Um, I'm very impressed with the company and their dedication to their community, to the IP titles that they produce, and uh, they do a conscientious effort. I'm very, very happy to be a part of uh, being able to stream their content. Uh, the game was not given to me by them. I am not um, a partner for them or anything else. This is my honest, true opinion of them and this game. I have played the hell out of this game since I first got it. Um, I really do enjoy it, and I really do enjoy the other game titles that I have played by them. So this is not cranky, you know, getting getting anything from a company to blow some hot air up their backside and give you false uh, reviews. That That's not the case. I'm not that guy. I, I'm going to give you my honest opinion of any game that I play. And um, that's that's part of what I think the community expects and respects at the same time. So we have to finish digging up this here, this section on the bottom right-hand corner, getting all that dug out. And we also have to finish building all of this. So um, hopefully they will get onto that and get that all accomplished pretty quick here. PDQ, pretty damn quick. You can see these three running off to do stuff. Number four is coming in here. You can see this dupe up here is using an electric grill to cook some food. Now let's take a look at our overlays. Let's look at our oxygen levels. Um, pretty good for the most part. Um, it's getting a little on the lower side. Um, I haven't been running my diffusers for a little while. Uh, first off, they increase the heat in your base and they also use up a lot of oxygen and they use up a lot of energy. Uh, so we do have a little bit of CO2 down here that once this is taken out, will level out across here and be sucked up for the most part by this and then keep it as a level area so we are going to need to bring in oxygen production over here and probably pretty soon in fact you know we could probably go about doing that right now let's set that for a construction of six that is the level at which i like to build my things here and let's stick it right about me me Right here, sure. And let's get some um, chaos theory wire going here, as I call it. All right, there we go. Now we want to pull this from something that's got uh, the least amount of draw on it. So let's pull it from here. There we go. So that'll start producing some oxygen for this area. And you can tell by the airflow vents that we've been placing that we're trying to get airflow and air circulation throughout the base on a consistent con consistent pathing. So you don't have one side of the base uh, more flush with fresh air than another side of the base. You want it all consistent. Uh, you don't want to have one side of the base with no oxygen at all. That's, that's not going to do anybody any favors. There we go. Now the CO2 is going to start flowing down. Perfect. 
makes Cranky very happy. So now I'm going to go to the move debris, which is basically a sweep icon. Set it for a priority level of three for my dupes, because I want them to clean up when they have nothing else to do. So that this stays clean and um, it doesn't affect the morale of my dupes too much. You got to stay on the ball for this stuff because it's very easy for it to get, um, well, lost in the shuffle of everything else you're doing. I just drag and collect all of these as jobs for the dupes. There we go. Nice and simple. You don't want to get stress or anxiety in the game. You want to have fun. That's what you're here for. And that brings me to another point. Uh, when you're playing the game, play how you want to play. Don't let somebody come along and say, hey, you know, you're doing this all wrong. You should be doing it this way, doing it that way. And, and you should go do this and go do that. I mean, it's okay to get ideas and help and have someone assist you, but don't let them direct your gameplay for crying out loud. Uh, this is your game time. You paid for it. Um, you're here to have fun. And if you're having fun, then you're doing it right. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that get a little bit overzealous with this game and other games where they want you to be them and do it how they do it. Um, just play how you want to play. Enjoy your game time. Uh, and uh, if I can give you any kind of takeaway from Cranky's streams, I hope that's one of them. Go little dupes, go you working beautiful creatures you. I still think they remind me of Fraggle Rock. They really do. These are my own little mini Fraggles. <laughs> Maggles is in my Discord and in my stream, and Maggles happens to say, You're not my manager! <laughs> Thank you, Maggles. Always good to have a good laugh, and Maggles is always a good supplier of quite a few laughs. How are things going for you today, Maggles, in Ark? I believe you're st still playing Ark, yes? See, we offer a number of uh, servers up to our community community to play with us. As long as they, you know, have uh, proven themselves to be uh, members of our community that we trust and uh, we feel comfortable playing these games with, uh, and they fit some certain other criteria that is listed in our Discord, uh, they have the uh, option to join us and play with us. Uh, looks like Mango's got a lot of tames today in Ark on our server, and it's going good for Mango's. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mango's. Um, we've worked hard to make that a fun, enjoyable uh, server for people to play on. And so far, I, I can't think of an incident yet that's been on the negative, so it, it's good to see. We run um, 25 mods as of today. Um, on one map, we're going to bring in our second map into the cluster this week. Um, that second map is, I believe it's this week or next week. I'll have to look at the, uh, the table again. Um, the second map is going to be Valgaro. The third map we're going to bring in two weeks after that, and that is going to be Ragnarok. So uh, we'll be able to jump, hop, skip uh, from one map to the next map and bring our dinos with us. And 
uh, it, it's going to be great times, fun times. Um, I usually, in situations like that, have um, a base on each of the maps so that um, I can do my whatever I have to do on those maps easier than going back and forth from one map to the next map to the next map just so that I can do what I'm trying to do on the one original map. Saves time. That's at the end of the day, it's all about time saving for Cranky in that regard. Um, I think we've made a little bit of a mistake here. I don't want that one there. So we're going to deconstruct that one. Um, I want a little bit overzealous. I didn't, didn't, I want that little bit of a space here. Okay, so we're going to go like this, like that. We're setting up for our, for our ranches. So we will need a critter feeder. Critter drop off. Um, we will need a grooming station. And that's pretty much all we're going to need for our hatches. I mean, at the moment, down the road, I will go a little bit further in and I will add hatcheries so that we can hatch them and set up some automation and that sort of things. But the very basic, basic ranch is what you see there. you got a feeder, you got a grooming station, and you got a critter drop-off so that you can bag and tag your critters and then drop them off at this spot um, have your rancher guy come in or girl or non or non-binary and come in and do your grooming of those creatures um, all of this is important while they still have a critter feeder as well the feeding is just for the breeding sake you don't need to tame them up or, or really feed them otherwise um, it, it, they'll eventually starve, yeah, they'll eventually die, yeah, and evolve into their final evolution, as a lot of people in this uh, community describe it, which is meat. And that meat, we turn around and throw it on the barbecue for our workers and our colony here. It's another source of food, and it actually is a really good source of food. It gives them good morale. Uh, as odd as it is to us who are playing this to see them eat uh, these kind of bug-like things and then be happy about it. I, hey, if it makes them happy, it makes me happy. Okay, and as I need this top portion finished, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deconstruct this as well. And then I'm going to put a dig order for this whole section. So that they dig all of that up. And it also forces them to do the work here. So if we look at our oxygen map now, 
um, you can see the CO2 is leveling out. Uh, we need to turn this on. This has not been up, updated with a high priority so that it doesn't have um, algae in it. So I'm going to actually make it a top priority, yellow alert this, so that they come down right away, one of these duplicates, one of the workers, and fills it up so it starts producing oxygen for this area. And there we go. Just leave it at an eight. And it's good. Oh, software, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to our tutorial series. Um, software is asking us, how are the dupes? The dupes are doing great, my friend, thank you for asking. We are on episode nine, my friend, and um, cycle 60. We are doing pretty good, pretty good. Look at the heat overlay. Everything is fairly decent in our interior of our of our colony here starting to get a little worrisome with with uh, temperature range um, but it it's okay for the moment and that's the key Okay, now we're creating another ration box because this one is pretty much full. Software always says, uh, I always expect them to be dead due to them and, and small brains. Yes, yes. You're not far gone on that. Um, the dupes in this game are, well, they are not the brightest individuals or brightest bulbs in the bunch. Um, they, do what you, they, they do what they're told to do, and they will do it very literally. So you have to really watch what they're doing like a hawk. Uh, if you don't, um, shenanigans can happen, you know, and uh, mistakes can be made. Mm, regrets can be found. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I could say we've had a few of those uh, in my playtime in this game. When I first started this game, uh, I was just like everybody else, you know, um, never played the game, never watched anybody play it before, and I sat down to try to play it. Oh my goodness, what a mess I made. Oh, what a mess. Uh, for me, I was very fortunate being a streamer that uh, the community came in and said, oh my goodness, Cranky, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Hang on, let, let's give you a hand here. You know, um, and... and they weren't, for the most part, um, in my face about it. They waited until I asked for help and until I said, oh, my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing here. And then they offered advice. Uh, you know, some people got a little bit overzealous and tried to direct my gameplay. But for the most part, most people were really friendly, helpful and considerate. Um, and I learned a lot from the community and I have to give them hands down props. The Oxygen Not Included community is very smart, uh, friendly, helpful and um, good peeps good peeps uh oh new printables yay new stuff we like shinies uh oxifern that okay that's a plant that converts carbon dioxide into oxygen it's kind of nice um poof. That is a beautiful building number, plus 11. 
He's a night owl, kind of like that. However, he's got a problem. He's a slow learner. And that's... Yeah. that That's something I'm going to pass on because it's minus, minus 30% to learning his skills. And um, not so helpful. Not so helpful. Um... Gourmet, I'm going to pass on. Sandstone, I got a lot of. So at the end of the day, the only thing I really want out of this is the Oxifern. All right, we'll take it. Hmm, actually, you know what? Let's make another liquid lock right here. I think this is a prime opportunity to put another one in right here. Remember our sweep priority from before? We're going to do that again over here. Just clean up that mess. So now we have a liquid lock over here and a liquid lock over here, allowing us easy access from this side, easy access from this side. Eventually, I'll probably take and make a hole here and hollow this out and go straight up from here. Uh, probably sooner than later it's going to happen. We, we've got to think about um, going exploring here and finding resources out in, the, out in this map and this world and moving beyond the confines of our small little uh, community and world here because uh, what we have is a very finite resource supply at the moment and um, that's that we're getting to the limit of what it's able to do for us and we don't want to stagnate and die out through something like that I'm limiting how much I'm giving them for jobs and work to do because I want to see these jobs and work completed in this episode. So um, I'm being very careful not to overwhelm them with a lot of work. Oh, stand by. 
That is the sound of we being raided. Another Twitch streamer has decided to come in, kick our door down with their community, and share their community with Cranky. Thank you for joining us, Prima Danita. How you doing, Prima? It's good to see you. Thank you for taking the time and being considerate enough to share your community with Cranky. I appreciate that. Welcome in, raiders. Give me a moment to turn off our follow-only rule. We have follow-only enabled to restrict those bots from coming in and causing problems. So there you go. You guys can now chat and welcome on in thank you everybody welcome to the west coast of canada welcome to our video here we are doing a video for youtube and it looks like my sound alert thing is causing a problems so give me a moment while i fix that little sound alert issue and there we go we just refreshed it and that little box is gone welcome in folks uh prima what were you just streaming prima and raiders come on in make yourselves at home uh, we are doing a video here for YouTube. It's a tutorial series on Oxygen Not Included, and I hope you enjoy the game and enjoy the series. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to type something into chat. I will do my best to accommodate you and answer your questions as best as I can. Guys, do me a favor, click that link and give Prima a follow. Amazing streamer. Going to provide you with top-notch quality entertainment. Uh, you know Cranky's not going to steer you wrong. So please do click that link, those people who are in my Twitch stream right now and seeing that link. So Prima, we are at episode number nine right now. We are doing things. We're getting stuff done. We're doing another liquid lock over here on this side. Uh, we have one over here on this side. We have another liquid lock over here. Uh, we're getting stuff done. We're doing things. We're getting a ranch built down below. Uh, we're getting a, another farm built down below for our bristle berries. Uh, we've got stuff on the go. So I'm, I'm destroying segments of ladder that I don't need anymore. Um, it's just uh, why have it there if it's not needed type of uh, issue here. We're doing pretty good. We got 41 tons of algae in stock, 74 tons of copper ore. That is an unheard of amount of copper. I, I, whew, wow, I don't even know what to say to that. That's a lot of copper.
Look at these dupes. Hard at work. Hardly working? Hard at work? Well, you know. You know. So I just adjusted the priority so that uh, my excavators, their priority goes to building. Um, just to get some of the building done a little bit quicker. In a lot of respects, I prefer that setup regardless. Um, I'd rather have them build the ladder first before they dig the hole that they're going to get stuck in without a ladder. Woohoo! We're getting stuff done. They're hard at work. Go! You beautiful creatures, you. Now you can see they are building stuff. It's just a little bit slow because I don't have a whole bunch of construction type people. I have people doing all different jobs in my colony. I have farmers. I have ranchers. I have sweepers. I have uh, researchers. I have all sorts of uh, people doing different tasks and different uh, priorities of different tasks. So some things are more important to some dupes and less important than others.
don't think we've uncovered really anything um, special when it comes to the exterior here. We have this steam vent here, but that's all we found so far, unless there's something over here. I don't see anything else. Nothing else have we found. I mean, it looks like there's something else here. I mean, look at the heat of this. There's something else here. What it is, I don't know. There's something here that's superheating this. It's probably something like this, a cool steam vent or um, some kind of natural gas geyser. Something is heating up these tiles. Oh, keep going, buddy. Looks like they're getting back to work on that liquid lock. I try not to disturb their natural way of things because the way we've got our priorities set, they're, they're taking care of everything that needs taken care of. It's just a little bit slower on the construction side, but there's a lot of duties that they got to perform. They've got to keep the, the oxygen uh, producing devices filled and running they got to keep the water coolers filled and going they got to clean up the debris off the ground they they've got to manage so much um, that it's and they got to keep energy in the batteries by going on the pedal machines so i get it i do i, I try not to push them too hard as you can see that uh, liquid lock is pretty much ready to start putting water in now And that's what we'll do.
let's look at our electrical overlay. Aha, uh -huh, that's where it's broken. So it looks like the liquid lock on the left hand side there is almost complete. Almost complete. Just a little bit more water. Okay, so now, hey, we have a captain in our chat stream here on our Twitch channel. Hey, captain, how you doing? Oh, captain says he must, I can confirm, I must have a severe case of the dumbs. And Snokey has joined us, Snokey. Good morning on my way to work. Well, thank you for joining us, Snokey. And captain, what have you done? What have you done? Ah, uh, Captain is having some struggles in the ARC server with a new creature he has not encountered before and taming it. I wish you luck, my friend. I wish you luck. Maybe after the uh, tutorial here, I will get in touch with you and see if I can help you further. But currently, we are working on Oxygen Not Included, uh, episode number nine in our tutorial series and trying to help some people out and help them to learn this amazing game.
Uh oh, Snooky needs to be extra careful. They have a cart at the end of their bike today on their way to work. Yes, please be safe out there. Safety first. Always safety first. I thought I had the illumination just right. Shoot. I did not. Ah, sigh. Okay. So if I shuffle this over one more, go copy. So I'm wanting to feed my hatches a very particular diet so that they um, have a chance when they lay an egg to lay a certain type of egg. And that certain type of egg is going to produce a smooth hatch. That's what I'm hoping for. And if you go over to your documentation here and you go down to where your critters are and you go to hatches and you look what about smooth hatches, this is what a smooth hatch looks like. Its diet is any one of these things here. Oh, they have changed it. Oh, no. Oh, they have changed it. Oh, maybe I don't want to make a smooth hatch. Okay. Stone hatch, that was the one I wanted. Yes, not a smooth hatch, a stone hatch. My apologies, guys. I'm looking for the stone hatch. That's going to produce lots of coal for Cranky. That's what we want. So we're going to copy those settings to there. We're going to take those settings and copy them to there. Now we've got that set up. We're golden. Now let's look at our illumination here and see what's going on here. Okay, so we are a little bit shy on the illumination. That right there. So that will cover that. And then we're going to need another one of these. I guess right here we'll do. We'll cover it all. Okay, so we're just trying to get our illumination just right in that room. 
next, uh, let's look at what they're offering us. Ooh, more pips. I will take those pips. What else are they offering us first? A loud sleeper? No. Uh, building and researching? Nah, I can do without that. Um, ooh, increased with Grease Monkey plus three to machinery, making it a plus 11. Hmm. That's pretty nice, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna take you. Cause, yep, you're pretty nice. At the end of the day, you're gonna be kind of what we want. Okay, so we wanna go to schedule and we wanna move Mary down to our fourth slot on day shift two. Okay, that ties up this whole slot. Excellent, this shift is done. Mary, what are your priorities going to be? Well, um, life support, eh, you know, sure, one, toggle one, doctor, not so much, tidying one, cooking, not so much, decorating, not so much, researching, not so much, operating, yes, uh, eh, you know, eh, you know, yeah. We'll have it like that. That's kind of where I'm going to go with it. Now we're going to go to skills. And we're going to go to... Where is Marie? And we're going to give him this. We're going to eventually take him over to here. So, that's eventually where they're going. They are our first tinker tinkering person. And you have now reached that level. Okay. Um, let's give you some more tidings ability to carry more weight. I don't need you to go outside wearing an exosuit, so I'm not going to make you go outside. Okay, so now I want to start capturing these wonderful little bugs here. There's one. There's a couple. I see the eggs in a number of spots. And as they hatch, I will send them over. I, I, I mean, I could put a storage container and send them over there that way. That's one way of doing it. It's not, not really what I want to worry about right now. I mean, we're going to have a fair amount of them as is anyways. There we go. All our plants are properly illuminated now. Don't forget, folks, if you're watching this on YouTube um, and you like what you're seeing and you appreciate these tutorials, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, help support the channel, help it to grow and allow us to contribute more of these tutorials to YouTube. 
Uh, if you want to know more about us, you can head over to the uh, video details section and find links to our Twitch page and uh, our Twitter link as well, and maybe even a Discord link, you know, and say hi to us. Pop on over to Twitch and uh, tell us you came from YouTube and uh, if you have any questions about Oxygen Not Included or uh, want to, you know, just uh, see what we're doing over there, don't hesitate to do it. Uh, if you do have very specific Oxygen Not Included questions, and I am playing a different game on my stream, uh, you're still welcome to ask your question, but at the end of the day, it might be better to post your question with a screenshot to our Discord, where there's hundreds of people that might be able to help you. Probably help you a little bit quicker than Cranky due to my streaming schedule. I do stream 7 days a week, 10 to 16 hours a day on Twitch, and uh, that does tend to make it a little bit harder for me to respond in a very expedient manner but i'm not going to ignore your question and i will respond as soon as i can I love the animation of when they go up to a critter that they just tied up. <laughs> they put it in a bag. I love that. That's great. Oh, Snooky just arrived to work and is saying, at work, have fun. Well, okay, you too, Snooky. Stay safe and have a good day at work. And we'll see you later. Val is in the channel. Val, good morning. Hope you're feeling better this morning. And welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to our tutorial. As you can see, we have managed a couple different things here today. We have our bristleberry farm up and going. We have two ranches started here. I'm going to max that out at eight, put the auto wrangle on. Uh, 
Um, I'm not sure I understand that phrase. Or, um, you, you got some sleep, but you now have a poorly child. Um, d does that mean you've got a child who is sick at the moment? I hope not. Uh, Val is saying, yes, my daughter's having stomach issues. So off to the dock with her later today. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay, so you can see with our hatches here, they are, um, you know, they're, they're getting groomed here by our rancher. And, uh, you know, they're all happy in their lives. couple bugs that have not been picked up yet as I see them running around I will force them to get uh, grabbed and sent home still a couple eggs that haven't hatched as well but I'm not gonna waste my time and my dupes time with um, you know putting a, a box there to just to store the eggs that occasionally I run into nah I'll let them hatch and then I'll round up the critters after. There's like three eggs on the map right now. I don't think it's worth it. But if you zoom in really close, you can see this right here. That's coal. They are pooping out coal. And that is really good. We want them to poop out coal. Because that is a continuous supply for us of a combustible material we'll be using later on down the road for either power generation or steel. And we're going to need a lot of steel in stuff that we build later on. So having that in excess is a good thing to get started early. Okay, Val's asking a very good question. What happens with surplus hatches? Do they get wrangled to the second uh, ranch or eaten? At the moment, they get auto-wrangled and they will be sent to the other uh, location. When that one maxes out, I will um, either make another ranch or I will start culling them and uh, eating them because they be good cookings. Okay, so I want these guys to start getting this done. So I'm going to put a yellow alert on this, and I want this finished. This liquid locks so that I can start sending them out to do things. 
outside of the base. Uh, we're at that point. We need to get them outside doing things. Um, our thermal barrier has been completed around the whole base. And we're good to go on that end of it. So it's now time to start sending them out into the wild blue yonder. Or, you know, multicolored yonder. And see things and experience the world. And find stuff for us. Shiny new things. Oh, it's actually done. Just barely, but it is done. Very nice. Ah, uh, Val. Next ranching question. I know there's a limit to how many hatches you can keep in one ranch, but why is that? Yes, because of overcrowding. You do not want them to be overcrowded. Because then they get glum. And when they're glum, they're not happy. And when they're not happy, they, um, yeah, they, they don't do the things you want them to be doing. See, over, see that's cramped, overcrowded. Um, I think I've taken it too far already. Yeah. We've got, I don't know how many in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to lower this number down to six. And then copy the settings. 
to hear. Yeah, just to make things a little bit easier, we'll, we'll wrangle a couple of them. I think that'll do it. I am feeding them sedimentary rock because I want to convert them to stone hatches, which will poop out uh, lots and lots of coal for Cranky and be cheap to feed. Now, sedimentary is one of the easier things for us to supply them with. Okay, so that's been dug out now and set up with our our wonderful spot here. So now we can start digging out this side and we can start digging out this side. Um, I have to approach it very carefully so I don't drop water and flood my liquid lock here and what I've done here. Um, All right, so let's take, let's go here, take this ladder. And you want to use local materials as much as possible. As they're excavating, they're going to uncover uh, certain materials. You want to build your ladders out of those materials. You don't want them having to go all the way back to their material point and pick up material and come all the way back just to build the ladder. You want to use what's local and what's around you. And mostly what's around me is sandstone, um, some granite but mostly sandstone. So we're going to use sandstone to build our ladder with. If we look here, it's already preset for sandstone. That's good. Uh, we'll take it from here, I think. Maybe from here. Go straight up. Yeah, that's good. Now you see these critters right here. These are Drecos. Eventually we're going to ranch those guys. Because they can produce um, uh, something on their shells. It, it's um, it's called reed fiber, and it allows us to make atmospheric suits and uh, breathe easier out here with a containment of oxygen, so our dupes are not exposed to nasty things in the environment like slime lung and other stuff and um, have our dupes have problems. So we want to have our dupes as happy as possible and as efficient as possible, and that's one way of doing it. Uh, what is... Val is asking, I'm guessing smooth hatches aren't worth it then for the amount they need to eat versus production. Okay, smooth hatches um, eat metal to produce refined metal. Um, eat metal ore to produce refined metal. I would say that's up to you if that's what you want to, want to have and want them to do that's your call um, they are better than a uh, rock crusher because a rock crusher is only going to give you about 50% of the ore into refined metal uh, but they're not as efficient as a true forge or a true smelter that's going to turn it into um, 100, you know, one for one. I think everybody is going to make their own decisions on questions like that. I can give you what I think is appropriate and, and let you be the judge of where you want to go with it. It's your game. Um, if you're having fun, you're doing it right. I, uh, that, that's my default answer to those type of questions.
right there. It's called the metal refinery. And that's what you need, Val, is the metal refinery. Metal refinery is a little bit more complicated to get up and running properly because you're more than likely going to need an aqua tuner to keep it cool. And um, you'll notice that as you mess with it. Um, you could probably find um, some examples of someone who's done one. Uh, when I get to that point, I, I will most certainly explain it to you. But at this present time, we're not near the, the point of being able to do a metal refinery or needing to do one. Well, we're probably going to go to a rock crusher first. So what I think I'm going to do is, you see this pocket of water here, instead of just dropping it down and dealing with it that way, uh, which, you know, I, I could do, I think I'm going to burrow into it from somewhere over here, come over to it and put a ladder down and put a pump in here, and then run some piping down here and all over the place until we can feed it into here, and just, just drain it dry completely, so that it makes it easier for me to clean out this section. Because at the end of the day, what I want to do is I want to put a section over here so we wall this off. And then I can drop other water down. And um, I'm going to encase this uh, cool steam vent in insulated tile so it no longer heats up the environment. Because right now, the heat this thing is producing is turning everything stupidly hot. And we don't want that. Oh, hello. That's very, very cold. Like, really, really cold. Something is cooling that down. Oh, neutronium. There is a bar of neutronium right here. Something is being cooled down really nice right here. Is that ice? No. It's hydrogen. That's granite. So, yeah, this is... That we want to check out. Uh, pretty PDQ. Pretty damn quick. Um, that might be one of our slush geysers. So far, I've been trying to avoid the slime, but you're going to get to a point where you just can't avoid it. You just can't. And, um, oh, here you go. Here, here's a bar of neutronium right here. Um, we don't know what that is, and there is a method of finding out what it is, and if you want to employ that method, that is up to you. I personally do not use this method, but I'm not going to say it doesn't exist. It does. The devs allow it to continue to exist they've known about this method for a long time if they wanted this fixed and removed they would have done it okay so to find out what this is without digging over to it and uncovering it you would hit um uh priority and you would go to I want to say this, I think, no, I'm wrong, okay, you would highlight this, yes, no, Cranky hasn't done this method in a long time, so bear with me here, priority on that, no, how about this, no, hmm, Cranky. 
me i know it's been a while ah that's why i had it set for construction so this is the way to do it you you take the yellow alert you put it on where this five is had me confused for a second there i thought i i didn't know what i was doing okay now you can go over where that yellow alert is and you can highlight it and it's going to tell you what that bar is i don't want to do it because i don't want to be spoiled and tell me what it is but that is how you would do it uh, you would go to your priorities make sure it sets all click on the yellow alert put it on here and then go up to where it says the yellow alert bar there move your mouse over it and it's going to tell you what that yellow alert is for and that bar of neutronium is what it's for but it's going to tell you what that bar of neutronium is and I don't want to find out. I want to dig over there and find out the normal way. So um, we're going to go back and put it at the level of five that it normally is. And we're going to find out the normal way. We're going to dig over to it. And we're going to, we're going to experience life in its infinite wonder. And splendor for that matter. Okay, so um how's the best method of me getting over there without exposing myself to the slime lung wells um chlorine gas i'm okay to deal with i can manage it it's not going to make me happy but it's better than slime lung marginally it will irritate the shit out of my duplicates they will not be happy with me for doing this but it is much happier than dealing with uh well slime lung for example now, I, I could do it this way. We could go pathing. We do this right. We can go this way. And do as minimal exposure to the chlorine as possible. And dig right there. Now that should expose what we want to see. I'm hoping that's as far as I need to go. I might need to take it one further in. Um, not directly this way, but like one up and like that probably. I'm hoping I don't have to do it that way because I don't want to break the cap. I don't want to expose what's there. Um, I want to see what is there, but I don't want to start what is here if it happens to be a volcano last thing i want to do is uncap a volcano and and just have that going all over the place okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our pathing a little bit this right here is off by a little bit so we're going to get rid of that bring it down one and go like this and we're going to go here and we're going to go like this because your dupes need two squares to move in. So we're going to give them that two square movement space. See what I've done? At the same time, I'm getting myself some coal. And, and right here is coal. And we need coal later in the game. But I'm trying to limit my exposure to other nasty things that I don't want to expose and have wash back on us later. And the next thing, remember, I wanted to dig over here and get this dealt with. So we're going to do that too. We're going to plan for that side of it. copper pump it's just fine for what we're, we're going to be doing liquid pipe all right we want our liquid pipe to go as far as here it's as far as you need it to go hazard but remember we don't want to drop that water down we want to do it this way this is what cranky wants to do this is how he's going to do it may not look pretty 
but I'm not here to look pretty. I'm ha I'm here to get stuff done. Um, all right. Now, power. What are we going to do for power? That's a tough question. Uh, let's generate the power right here locally. So, I want to deconstruct all of this right here, all, all this ladder, um, in a different manner. I want to turn it into tile. Okay. So, we will turn it into tile. Now that that's turned into tile, we can build on top of it and not worry about it. Uh, we are going to build an um, electrical grid on top of this. That'll be fine. Two will be just fine for our needs. Now let's put the wire together. There you go. And what we can now do is we can take this, go this way, and connect to here. Once that's done, we can sever the connection here and free up 120 watts off of this main line. That's pretty damn good, actually, because any chance you get to free up uh, power that's being used, and all this wire here, that'll be freed up. That's a good thing. Uh, Val is asking, can the dupes get on top of the liquid lock? How do you mean by that, Val? What are you asking? Um, oh, you're, you're talking over here. Yes, that is a valid point. Thank you, Val. Um, there is no way for them to get over here to do what I want them to do. So let's fix that. There you go. Thank you, Val. Very astute observation. So you can see the lessons we learned in constructing the main part of our base. We're now taking them outside of our base and applying them out there. Oh, new printables. What are you offering, Cranky? What are you going to give us today? Let's roll the dice and see what we win. Uh, decorator, well, you know, I, 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 maybe. Uh, ranch. Ooh, another ranching person. That's plus 10 to it. Oh, damn, is that beautiful. Um... Shoot. Um, damn, that, that's a tough one. Oh, woot woot. Scruffy, thank you. A member of our community just resubscribed. They've been a subscriber to our channel for 16 months. Wow, Scruffy, thank you so very, very much for the continued support. And at tier three, that is the highest tier of subscription you can do, Scruffy. Thank you very, very much for the continued support and most certainly valued member of the community. We love playing games with Scruffy. We love hanging out with Scruffy. And uh, Scruffy is really good peoples. Uh, thank you again, Scruffy. I really do appreciate that. I, I kind of want to take that dupe. I really do. Do I need it right now? That's the question. Is it going to do anything to help me at this moment? No. Is it going to use up stuff and cause problems? Possibly. Um, this one, decorating and, and tidying, is a mouth breather. You don't want that. It's increased air consumption rate. I'm going to pass on that one. 
Uh, this one is a straight up decorator. That's not a bad thing. Um, I'm going to pass on it. I'm going to just take the fungal spore for now. I, I really don't want another dupe right now. Scruffy, look at our new command in there. We have a command that one of our community members um, uh, we made for specifically. Sorry, I, I was just watching the stream here. And Puppers, and she loves bacon. And um, she personifies it as a dog for the, for the community and likes to play it up as if she's a dog. She's a dog walker. And she loves her dogs. So um, we use the exclamation mark bacon command in our Twitch channel to feed her her wonderful bacon that she loves so much. And um, so, uh, Scruffy, anytime you see Puppers, you're more than welcome to do the exclamation mark bacon. And I'm sure Puppers will love it. And you and me should get together, Scruffy, in the near future. And we should do some Among Us. I played it the other day with... Um, cat another member of our community and had a great time they've done a lot of changes to it so uh you might want to check out what they've done and maybe in the near future we will play some more among us with our community Oh, I can't blame you, Scruffy. I can't blame you at all. I don't like playing with randos either. I would rather play with my community, as we've experienced before. Um, randos can be problematic. Um, there, there's a lot of griefing that goes on in, in the online community, especially in games like Among Us. And um, it, it can cause a lot of frustration and anxiety. Um, it can turn friends into not-so-friends. And uh, we don't want to necessarily have that happen. Uh, we want to approach it with a positive attitude and an understanding that at the end of the day, we're all friends and we want to remain that way. So, Val, if you noticed, um, the excess hatches that you had asked about have been moved up to the second ranch. Automatically getting done. They're moving them on up. Okay, so I did not put a liquid vent over here like I should have. There we go. Now what's going to happen is that water, when it's completed, is just going to come out here and drop down here and fill this up. Well, not fill it up, but put all that water from that, that little hole there down into there. And um, that's a bonus. Yay, yay, yay. We want that. Unfortunately, it's really, really hot water. Um, but we need to get that water out of there. So it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, we're going to need the water for our crops and stuff. I just don't, in, I really don't like the idea of putting 30 degree water into my base. Um, I wish I had a th saw that temperature before I actually did what I did. Um, I could still cancel the build here and change my plans. In fact, I'm going to do that because I don't want 30 degree water put into my base. So in hindsight, we are going to cancel all our liquid liquid work here. 
because it honestly is not doing us any favors. Okay, so we're going to cancel this liquid pump. We are going to cancel this. Well, to be honest with you, Scruffy, who's asking and saying, I was actually debating on messaging, Cranky. I saw you were on Among Us on Discord yesterday, but Steam said you were on Arc. Well, Scruffy, I was actually doing both simultaneously. Cranky was multitasking. Okay, so now you can see I'm using the liquid overlay here to highlight the plumbing pipes. Now we're going to deconstruct only the pipes. That's it. Because we don't need them. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing for the electrical that I did over here. Um, we don't really need it right now. So we're going to deconstruct that and we're going to cancel the other electrical part of it. To a certain point. We're going to cancel it to that point. We still might need that power for something down the road. So we're going to keep that. We're going to cancel this. We're going to cancel this. We're going to cancel those digs. Because we don't need them. And let it go, because that's just too hot of water. There, there's no bloody way I want that water in my base. That would be silly, silly, silly. All right, let's, let's get it going. I am very glad I caught that before I dedicated myself to it and created a problem by adding, introducing extra hot water to my base that I didn't need to do. Like this stuff is hot too, man. Like 30 plus degrees. Yowza. What you basically want to do with this stuff is dig down, hollow out all this section, and drop the water down and put it into a nice little storage area. And just forget about it until you need it later. Because that is just too spicy hot. And if you can, trickle this water down this way to the right as well. Force it to flow down this way into this storage area that you create. And um, then maybe seal box this up like I'm thinking about doing. And having it so that you can drop that water whenever you need that excess water for a project that you're going to use it for. In my case, I'm going to use this for a self-powered oxygen machine. Because this is going to create a little bit of extra water every once in a while to do it for that purpose. Uh, you use a lot of water when you're using a self-powered oxygen machine. And it's something we will get into in the near future and discuss and we will uh, put up onto YouTube for you beautiful people. Now we are getting close to the end of this uh, episode. So um, I hope you have enjoyed what we've shown here so far. And if you do have any questions, now is the time to ask it before we do finish up. We've got about another 10 minutes or so and I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. Take a look at our bristle berries. They're they're ripening. They're, they're doing their thing. Our farm is doing its thing. Everybody's happy. Cranky is too. Let's uh, make sure we give them another cleanup order. Because I see there's stuff that has escaped the cleanup. And especially with the ranching, um, you're going to constantly get them pooping. So you're going to constantly have uh, more cleanup to be doing there. Just make sure you do not highlight the drop area here. Because they will do a never-ending cleanup on this drop area. That's not what you want. Not at all.
but they have cleaned up the base really nicely really nicely there is hardly any debris on the floor anywhere anymore it is all in a centralized location i mean the decor is still going to look bad but i mean it's not going to look as bad as it used to look uh, see how bright red that is negative 300 plus something but look how limited this is i mean it's not as bad as it used to be and we can start really sprucing it up into turning it all green in no time it wouldn't take much effort to do because we've lowered all the negative d decor around it it's really not going to take an, any serious effort to turn it into positive green everywhere now usually i don't mess with decor till later on in the game it's something that's not big on my priority list As you see, as we explore more and more, we start uncovering more and more around the map and uncovering the, the blacked out hidden off areas. And th this is important because there's natural resources out there we want to get, like this bar neutronium. And over here, we've got a frozen biome right here. You can tell it's a frozen biome. This is good. We don't know what's in it. We don't know what this bar is. That bar could be anything. I have no bloody idea what that bar is. And I won't know until I dig it up. Uh, there's gold right here. There's paku, which are fish. And you want to capture those fish and bring them over to your own water. And just release them here so you can breed them and use them as another food source. Down here we have reed fiber that we'd like to collect and use to make our atmospheric suits when we have our oxygen machine now that is the key thing um, you have to have a reliable source of oxygen to feed your uh, your um, your suits and currently we really don't have that so um, we're making do with what we got with these uh, diffusers but they're not a good solution they're really not they produce heat use up energy use up algae it's it's really a less than ideal solution this right here is iron ore, and we'll need a lot of that, as well as using that for making steel down the line. So it's something to consider that we're going to need to use for multiple purposes. And again, remember, those people who are watching this later on YouTube, if you like what you see here and you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, and maybe help support our channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, maybe even tell your friends and family about us. Uh, we do our best to present uh, helpful tutorials that are going to help anybody who's just picking up the game uh, with learning it and doing so in a positive, supportive manner. And thank you again. We do appreciate your support. We appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. And head on over. Go down to the video details there and follow the link and head on over to our Twitch channel. Say hi. Um, you can also go to our Discord channel there as well. And there is a subcategory for Oxygen Not Included where you can include your screenshots and any questions you might have to the community and reach out for some assistance. You never know what you're going to get. All we ask is you be courteous and respectful and understanding that it might take a little bit for people to get back to you. It's not going to happen within five seconds of you posting your question. And on that note, I think we are going to wrap it up here and um, close down this segment of my stream. I'm not going to end my stream. I'm just going to end this video so that we can upload this video to uh, YouTube. So I'm going to end my recording of this as if I was ending my stream. And then we will start up our next segment of my stream for the night, which is going to be, I believe, Final Fantasy 14. So bear with me while I do the transitions and we'll say thank you to those in YouTube and we'll see you again soon in our next episode.
so long from the west coast of Canada. Uh, thank you, everybody.